What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Only One KDB, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, bro, we got horror movies, cut, horror movie characters I can beat. Now, if you're new to the channel, bro, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you can notify when I drop another banger, bro. We finna get to the video, bro. Make sure y'all follow me on the gram at KDB.Younger, not younger.KDB, because that is not me. Uh, let's get to it, bro. Let's see what they talking about. I can be all the whole movie characters. Me. I don't know about y'all, bro. Did you just see that? You just watched natural selection take place. Horror movies are one of the greatest blessings of convenient <clears throat> entertainment on Let's this get planet. it. Because whenever you and your buddies want to go to the movies with nothing in theaters, I don't go to the movies with my buddies. Movie out for y'all to watch. Even though nine times out of ten is going to be dookie, but hey, at least you weren't bored. And with that not being the case, most of us are well knowledgeable of the formula of horror movies. Usually the conflict is a dude trying to kill you and your phone don't work for whatever reason and your dumbass is in the middle of nowhere for whatever reason. And frustratingly, usually when the protagonist is running away or trying to find a way to stop him, they sometimes pick the... Bro, I want to be in a horror movie so bad, bro, because I be like, bro, these people so dumb, bro. I mean, they got a skit. They got, I said a skit. They got to stick to the script. But if I was in a horror movie, bro, they going to have to do something with my character, bro, because <clears throat> I'm not tripping over my feet. Uh, I'm not acting stupid. Most people in a horror movie be acting dumb, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't be getting it, bro, but we finna continue. Dumbest option or a choice that don't even help him at all, making this situation even worse. And I start yelling at the screen, saying, Oh no, why did you do that? You should have done this instead. Ah! Then the person in the seat next to me is like, Uh, excuse me, can you please be quiet? We're trying to watch a movie here. So then I pull out my gun and shoot. Why would you even make that decision? <laughs> it's even worse when they're in a group and the group decides to split up. Like, why would you want to split up? So he can kill us one by one? Also, I'm looking at my skin complexion. And I don't think I'm going to last long. So if I'm dying, everybody else got to go with me at the same time. These characters doing dumb things makes me mentally reenact their situations in my head. Putting myself in their shoes. Immersing myself in their sorry situation. <clears throat> that me personally... I would have never been in in the first place. If yeah, my I'm friends wanted either. to do a Saturday hangout at the abandoned shack in the middle of the woods, I'm not doing that. There's a quiz nose down the street. I think that's going to be just as fun and more safe. I'm minding my business most of the time. But putting myself in that situation that these horror movie characters are in, I'm surviving 100%, 1000%. I know how to beat these threats or at least escape them unscathed. And I'm going to go over the ones that I'm confident I can kick their ass. And which ones I'm confident that I'm, I'm going to get my ad beat. I'm also going to have a 1 through 10 rating. 10. I'm yeah, this nigga playing a Rocky instrumental. Let's go. First stop. It. First person I'm squaring up with is Pennywise. And if you don't know him, he's a clown that sometimes be eating kids. So we dealing with a literal child predator. They I don't think like I have a seen it. His powers include changing shape and size, mind control, teleportation, genjutsu, the list goes on. And if you know me, I can't do none of those things. I mean, I maybe can do the shapeshift thing. I'm a grower, not a show after all. But I don't think that's going to help me beat a killer clown. But if you remember the end of part two, you would know bro, how this they beat Pennywise. Wild, bro. So Pennywise gets his power off of other people's fear. So if you just stand there and face him off unfazed, not scared at all, you want He ain't got nothing. It's that easy. Just stand your ground and be like, you don't scare me, and he just disappears. Just drop Pennywise off in the ghetto, or even a middle school boy's lunch table. Not a single soul would let him cook anything. You would be D-O-A. And with that being said, of course I'm gonna beat his ass. <laughs> the only instance I can see him catching me off guard is if it's 3 a.m. and I'm home alone in the dark, and he just pop up in the corner of my room out of nowhere, and I'm just like, oh, shoot. You know, that would spook me a bit. But as soon as I get my composure... He means no threat. There's also this one other weakness Pennywise got that one of the characters... Bro, me personally, bro, I ain't letting no clown kill me, bro. If a clown pop up in my house while it's dark, bro... <laughs> nigga, I'ma kick that nigga ass. That nigga can't fuck with me. That nigga... Just, what, what's so scary about a clown, bro? It just They just got a clown outfit. If the nigga got a knife or something, 
I'm gonna kick the motherfucking knife out of his hand. I think clowns are stupid. Yeah, so I'm gonna just outsmart him some way, somehow, bruh. I'm gonna be smarter than him. I wish horror movies was real. Like, I wish all the characters was real, like Michael Myers and Jason and Chucky. I don't see how people be scared of Chucky. If you don't kick that little motherfucker down the stairs or something, <laughs> that nigga, like, come to my ankles, bruh. I'll kick the shit out of that. But yeah, we finna continue, bruh. Doing a movie when if you believe any object that you pick up and throw at him can kill him, then it can kill. You can believe this chancla kills monsters if I believe it does. This chancla kills monsters if I believe it does. I feel like I said enough. Pennywise gets a 9 out of 10 low diff from me. The only reason why it's not 10 out of 10 is because his powers are kind of crazy if you're a little scared. Second up, Chucky from Ch Chucky from Child's Play. Yeah, the doll. His powers include voodoo magic, but only when he's touching you and it's a long spell, so you got time to, I don't know, kick him. He also <laughs> apparently has the same strength and speed of a full-grown human adult and... I find that very hard to believe. Maybe the strength and speed of this guy, but an actual grown average sized man? I doubt. With that know. being said, I'm beating Chucky's Barbie booty. Bro is a dog. He can barely move properly. I would score a golasso with his body before letting him near me. I would toss him like a football before he can even breathe a word. Next <laughs> it's surprising how anybody gets killed by him in the movies at all. Which is all his kills are by surprise, but you can't catch me losing to a doll in a fight. No way, no how. And I doubt any grown up in real life will be outwitted by Chucky Awesome. That's why in every movie, Chucky's goal is always taking advantage of kids, manipulating them to do his bidding. Daily life of a YouTube. Anyways, Chucky is literally the easiest horror movie character to beat in a fight. Literally, a child can beat him. Shoot, they already have in the movies. I rate Charlie a 10 out of 10. <laughs> no diff. Next, Mikael Myers. Michael Myers from the Halloween franchise. Michael. Tall dude, brandishing a knife. Doesn't have any powers other than being unkillable. Yeah, this man's feats are unbelievable. Especially since this dude is just a crazy mental patient. Like, Halloween movies got no supernatural stuff happening. But Michael can get beat up, sliced, shot, whatever. This man does not die. Nothing works against him. <laughs> not guns. Not being burned alive. Nothing. He always wins. Even when he got jumped in Halloween kills by the whole town. He still won. And you expect me that shit to was beat crazy, him? Bro. Hell no, I'm sprinting. I cannot beat this dude. Even if I had the military on my side, I don't even think a nuke can beat this man. Michael Myers <laughs> is the type of dude to be in Hiroshima at the time of the drop and only think of it as a minor inconvenience. I can't beat this man. Random thought, but imagine if him and Jason were on the same team against humanity. Bro, we're finished. 2v8 billion and we're still getting fat. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Extreme death difficulty. Like, bro, even when they beat him at the end of the movies, he comes back. There's no escape. And the next villain to beat is also rather difficult. Smile. Smile is that new horror movie Smile. where the main I love villain movie. is a demon. And that demon possesses you to want want yourself in front of somebody else. And when they achieve that, the curse passes on to the other guy that saw it. And now they got the demon. But you have a week before you actually want want yourself. So during that week, you'll be seeing hallucinations of people smiling at you. But it's not real. It's the demon and yada yada yada. So how I beat him, right? So unlike the rest of these dudes, I literally can't physically fight this guy. Because this demon's in my head. So I'm going to use common sense to beat him. If I see this demon in another person's body about to want want himself, I'm going to just close my eyes. If I close my eyes, it's not going to transfer to me because it only transfers to people who saw it. And I didn't technically see it happen because I have my eyes closed. Easy as that. <laughs> but what if he was doing it in a cool way? What if he was doing a backflip while doing it? I have to look at that. So now I'm possessed by the demon. What do I do now? Well, at that point, the only way to beat him is to click clack someone else. So the curse passes on to someone yeah, else. Kill else. The only problem with that is it's kind of illegal. And you're probably gonna go to prison. But no more demon. And this is when I thank God that I live in the beautiful, flower-filled, obesity country of the U.S. of A. Where you can find loopholes to end someone's life. I have one week to get rid of this demon or I'm gone. So option one is, of course, to become a cop. 
what, that will only take me a day or two to become one. Then when I get my badge <laughs> and my badge of justification, I go patrolling, searching for the first person to go over the speed limit. And then I see a man with two kids in the backseat going one mile per hour above the speed limit. And he's a minority. Bingo. I pull him over, ask for the usual, and then I intentionally press him a little bit to get a reaction. Then as soon as he raises his voice, one decibel towards me. And now look at me with this opportunity. <laughs> that's standing Bro. right in front what of the me. Fuck, bro? Oh, no more smile demon for me. I beat him. Now the demon passes on to someone else. Extra points if it's one of the kids. I'll just say I felt threatened. And knowing America, I'll just get one week off paid vacation. You can also do a lot of other things. You can become an Uber driver and try to do a wall to right to your passenger. Or just Damn. take your worst enemy to Burger King for a Whopper. The opportunities are endless to get rid of this smile demon. I'm gonna have to give this a 8 out of 10 pretty low diff. One good fart from me could kill anybody within a 20 foot radius. So, easy mode. Next, <laughs> Jack from The Shining. Who is Jack? Bruh, just get a gun or buy an air conditioner. Easy, no diff. Next, white people, get out. Now, this is probably the most threatening enemy for a person like me. They literally mind control black people to take over their body. And they learn these men and women by using their daughter to date a bunch of them. Or just kidnap them. However, other than the mind control stuff, they're pretty much a bunch of regular people. But this is the hardest enemy I have to face. Because I have a chronic problem with white women. Cause if it ain't snowing, I ain't, I ain't going. going. You know what I mean? I love me my snow bunnies. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love. <laughs> one out of ten. I'm not winning. White women would be the death of me. I I got one more villain. I can guarantee you I can beat the dookie out of. Ghostface from Scream. Ghostface is literally just a dude that honestly just gets lucky. These guys are stupid. I'm surprised they even killed anybody. These dudes are the clumsiest murderers I've ever seen in a movie. Like, bro, they're the type of people to slip on a banana peel. You can throw the nearest object at him and it will slow him down. Throw a bottle, a bookshelf, your grandma. Anything will slow this dude down. If you have enough stamina to run at least 30 seconds, you're fine. Even if you ride a rascal, you can beat him. It's not hard. I'm rated Ghostface a 10. He's just too simple for a muscle man like myself. Those are pretty much all the characters I wanted to go over today. I mean, I can name more, but we'll be here all day if I was just naming all the characters I could demolish. Really, as long as I'm not in a saw trap and I'm not facing these dudes, I'll find a way. This was fun to go over. But before I end the video, I have to say thank you so Oh, my so, man said a million, so, bro. So, Congratulations. So, 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 so much for one million subscribers. I'm honestly so thankful for each and every one of you. I cannot love and thank you guys enough. All right, but that's going to do it for the video. If y'all enjoyed that video, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Turn that post notification. God damn. Turn that post notification bell so you notify when I drop another banger, bro. We finna get out of here, bro. That video was cool, bro. I liked it, that video. I know I was a month late. I seen everybody reacting to it. So I'm like, let me just, you know what I'm saying? Let me just hurry up and react to this. But I'm out of here.